So, I've been riding around for the past three days, and I could have swore Josh had left a piece of pipe or something in that center box, and it was just rolling around in there, and I could not figure this out. Pulled into Home Depot, now you guys gotta be super aware of this stuff, because you could cause some serious problem, and it might cost you a lot of money, and it could really hurt somebody, but the old Hoosier pole is stuck out here. Not good. Emotional turmoil. Check Knowing that out. They are living and operating well below their <laughs> It is just ripping out here right now. Cold front's moving in or something's coming in. Listening to my boy GC, little Grant Cardone. Gotta hit up the old Wally world. I've got a lot of people that hate on wall on on uh, Walmart. I'm telling you, that dude's my freaking hero. He is. He's my hero. My father-in-law hates Walmart, but I'm saying, listen, if you are that intelligent to like completely have to, the government has to come in and break your company apart because you are a monopoly. That's when you're doing it right. That's when everything's on the money. That's when you know your business is number one. Yeah, I do. I love me some Walmart. That old boy was intelligent. The Waltons, intelligent. Okay, so I just did like a 20 minute spiel. <laughs> take two. And we're doing take two. So what we're doing is we're working on the old Gem C. The Chev, the Gem, my diamond in the eye. It don't look like much. But this truck has made me a lot of freaking money. So I'm dolling her up. And I'm gonna put her back to work. I think that's where she's the happiest. But, okay, so what we did. We cut some three by three by quarter inch tubing. This is gonna be my runners uh, width wise of this truck. And this is what I am welding to. So, my three by three by quarter inch, we're gonna blow some holes in it, get everything bolted down so that when I run my runners, which is this piece, which is two by two by quarter inch, I have something to weld to. And that way if I ever pick this bed up, or somebody wants to buy the bed, or you know, whatever happens, all we gotta do is unbolt it, pick the whole bed up. Uh, if it don't fit their truck, we can always just cut the tubing off, and they have a whole bed that they can modify and fix it however they want. But, okay, so, what I am getting ready to do is we need to build the runner. Boom. We're gonna build two of these identical. So all I did was come right off of the bracket, which is this. Oh, which, by the way, you guys, check this out. I did explain this in the last deal, but I was just talking to Jed and Josh, apparently. Anyways, <laughs> I chopped my frame. Now this thing, as I am snubbing this thing up as tight as we can snub it up. I want a small, squatty truck. Okay, so one of the things about doing that is uh, it really just cuts your spare tire right off. Like you, you, you don't have a spare tire, so have good tires. Okay, just stay on top of your tires. Okay, so what am I building the runner at? I'm gonna build two of these identical. Let's see here. We should be good. Boom. This ain't rocket science. 88 and a half inches. So I need to build two like that. Okay. Okay, homies. Got the braces built. Okay, now the way this bed is gonna be set up is off of these braces. Now we're getting our toolboxes, we're getting the front. So we're gonna basically cut us a piece that comes out to here where this bed, where the bedside is gonna hold it. So we need to get a measurement from here to here and cut a length one. And that is basically what's gonna start our bed. All right, that's what the plate's gonna sit on top of. So. Let's go right here, Denny. Can't wait to hear all the haters tell me how you don't know how to play what you're doing. Oh yeah, it'll happen too, don't you worry about it. So I'm gonna go 76 inches. Now, the thing about this bed is, 
bunch of welders hanging out over here. Well, that's true. What do you do with hand? Same all over the day, man. Are you? Just build it? Yeah. So what is that piece? This. Okay, frame is basically built. Josh is getting it welded together, LH and everything. So it'll drag a trailer down the road if we have to. So, but we did figure out, cause I want a step up right here that comes up and over. So I'm cutting off this back piece. We're gonna weld the brace in right here. Then we're gonna basically set it up, make sure the sides are where we want it. And then, uh, and then build a, another tubing piece that runs up. And that way we got a little bit of a step up, a little more room in your boxes, and uh, for jack stands. Because our jack stands are gonna sit like right about here, somewhere. We're not sure, but it's gonna be there. Anyways, we're coming together. Got the side sitting here. We're gonna figure out where the fender goes on it. There's the back panel. Uh, we got the weld machine cut out already out of that one. Now we got to do is get bolts. Still haven't gotten bolts, but we got to get bolts, get that, get all our square tube and bolt it down. And then yeah, game on. So next step, we need to get this thing pulled up onto the truck and then basically tack that piece on there so that we know where everything's sitting and just how high we, and just how high we can step up right there next step so here's the frame we're done now what happened is we we bumped it up four inches all we did was add two inch spacers and then uh, and then your two by two brought it up four inches it makes your boxes deeper it gives you a place for your jack stands in the middle and it looks awesome, so enough said. Oh, Anyways, weld machine, four and 200. This is 58 and, this is 58 and three quarter inches uh, long by 21 and three quarter inches wide. That'll fit a 200 or, uh, or like a 300, a, a regular 300, not the cross countries and not the pipe pros. You're gonna have to figure out the measurements on that. Uh, on this particular frame, it's 75 and a half inches this way, which is equal to the cap. And uh, so from each break to each break, 75 and a half inches. So I built two of them. I got the front piece and then I got my step up right there. Now off the back, we wound up cutting the 45. Now you guys can build this however you want. Now you guys can build this however you want, but off the back, for 59 and a half inches, that's the complete back of the truck, all right? And then everything's gonna go 45 off and then run exactly down the truck. 
Now a lot of guys will build it to where the front end comes straight off the truck and then when it comes to the dualies, the fenders, they'll step it out and come around, which is another way of doing it. I want the bed to run with wise to the truck all the way back. Now this is the frame. Um, our runner pieces right here are 38 and a quarter inches. Now guys, you gotta remember, I chopped the frame of my bed off. Now if you don't wanna chop your bed, this this is the length here is gonna change. You're gonna want it longer. That'll allow you to keep a spare tire and everything else on it too, but I didn't, didn't care that much for that. Okay, now total length on this thing is... Oh, sorry, guys. 50. Uh, that's all I think every time. Really? Yeah. Okay, so total length on this is 91 and a half inches. For all you guys, 7 foot 7 and a half inches. Anyways, that's uh, the oxygen rack. So from the where my welder drops in to the front of the truck, or to the back of the truck, I guess, is 25 and a half inches. It'll fit two bottles. Oh yeah, it'll fit two bottles. So 25 and a half inches from front front of bed to start a welding machine. All right. This is all going to be plated right here. This is where your oxygen rack is going to sit. Your acetylene is going to sit right here, and you're going to have two. I always build for two, because if you run out of one, build for two bottles. That's the way I look at a welding bed. If you run out of one, you have a spare set. They're going to be pissed at you if you are on a tie-in and you run out and you have one set, okay? I did that once. It didn't look good, but uh, acetylene sits in here. They're going to sit down deep. All right, only about this much of that bottle is going to be sitting up above uh, the bed. Right here is where your leads are going to they're going to drop in. There's going to be a whole well right here for your ground, your stinger, and then an extension cord. Right here, the bo uh, the toolboxes are going to sit down, and right behind the duels, there's going to be some deep boxes on both sides. Uh, jack stands, they'll sit right here. Now, here in just a little bit, I ordered a BMW weld-in fifth wheel hitch. We're gonna brace it up right here, run another brace, weld it in, and it's all welded into the frame. Granted, this truck probably isn't gonna pull a fifth wheel, but uh, maybe a light one if if we decide. Now off the back here, once, once we figure out the length of the skirting, we're gonna brace this all up, get ready to put, put a bumper pull hitch in. So, Right now, we're getting ready to lift this up. We're gonna put it on the on the truck, tack it down. We're not gonna weld it solid, but we're gonna tack it down. And then, uh, and then I think we're done for the day and we'll come back first thing tomorrow. So everybody have a great night and be blessed. We'll talk to you later.